Hi everyone, Jennifer here. Skincare week continues on The Daily Connoisseur and today I'm going to be trying out a very cool looking DIY detox mask from Honey Bell. This mask was sent to me by Honey Bell to try and I'm really excited to try this mask. Uh, you know the other mask that I love is the Epicurean uh, Volcanic Mask. Actually, I can't remember the name now, but I'll write that below. But I've been using that for so many years that it's nice to try a different one and give my skin a new experience. So this DIY detox mask says it's energizing and youth promoting for all skin types and it's charcoal cardamom. So I have not ever tried it before. I haven't even smelled it, haven't even opened it. And so I'm going to give you my first impression right now. So Honey Bell uh, is a company that was started in Southern California by a woman named Iris. And she started it because she had psoriasis and she wanted to find an all natural skincare line. She actually wrote me a nice note. She said, hi Jennifer, I'm Iris and my line started in my kitchen because I suddenly developed psoriasis and was looking for a more natural and organic alternative. You can read more about my story on our website. Feel free to reach out to me for any questions. Looking forward to connecting, love Iris. So, hi Iris, thank you for sending me your mask. I'm so excited to try it. That is Iris and her business partner, Calvin. And I just love that it's a company that started um, you know, in her home in Southern California and they're entrepreneurs and I just love, I love the passion behind small businesses. Uh, so there's a lot of drive there. So let's try this mask out, okay. So it says it's activated charcoal is known for its abilities to draw out toxins, bacteria, chemicals, and dirt from the skin, helping to achieve flawless complexion and fight acne. Cardamom has powerful antioxidants that promote youth, effective in fighting fine lines, age spots, and wrinkles. Now, when I first got this, I thought, oh, this is really small, but it's a mix. So you're actually supposed to mix one teaspoon of this with one teaspoon of liquid. And so that's why this is uh, more compact. So it says mix one teaspoon of mask powder and one teaspoon of liquid. And it says for the liquid, you could use purified water, milk, apple cider vinegar, or it just says get creative. So that's kind of cool. You can do whatever you want there. I'm going to try water right now, although I would be interested to see how um, apple cider vinegar works. So I'm going to open up the mask. Mm, it doesn't really have a very strong smell, which is good because things like this always look scary, don't they? <laughs> Okay, so let's try this charcoal and cardamom mask. I'm gonna take a teaspoon of this and I'm going to, let's see, how can I show you this as well? Oops, I'm gonna pour a teaspoon. I'm making a mess because I'm trying to film this at the same time. <laughs> so I have poured a teaspoon and now I'm going to put this in my hand. I'm actually gonna take off my wedding rings. Put that in my hand and mix it up with um, some water. I'm wearing a workout shirt, by the way, in case you were wondering in my workout clothes. <laughs> you know what I just realized? I should be doing this in a bowl. Let me do this in a bowl. So here is one teaspoon of water. And I'm just going to mix that together. See if you can see that too. And I'm just gonna mix it with my hands because they're gonna get dirty anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go, here goes the mask. So I think the last time I put on a mask for you was when I was in Japan and I was trying that um, paper mask, that cloth mask that went over your face. Do you remember that? I'll try to link that video. Okay, so this is kind of cool. It does not have a strong scent at all, which is nice. You could tell there's no artificial scents in there. It's really hard doing this in the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna go look in a mirror and I'll come back. Okay, ta-da! So, let me see if I can cover this. This is so funny that I'm doing this, isn't it? Okay, there we go, it's on. And here's why I like to use masks. I just, um, I love, the purifying effect that they have on the skin. Look at my hands, I need to wash my hands. But I just love that, and of course you don't do them every day. For me, it's like once a week, once every two weeks type thing. Okay, so I'm going to let this stay for 15 to 20 minutes, and then I will come back and take it off. Okay, so 15 minutes have passed, and I'm so embarrassed because 
I'm actually shooting this while my kids are playing over at the neighbor's house and the neighbor had to come over um, to ask me something and so <laughs> I come to the door and this is what I look like. So embarrassing, why? <laughs> this goes to show that you should only put a mask on after everybody has gone to bed. But anyway, she was totally understanding about it. <laughs> so this mask is really awesome. It's just very, um, I can barely talk right now because this my skin is just so tightened from the mask. So I really feel like it's getting in my pores and everything, so this is really good. I'm gonna go wash it off right now uh, with warm water and this washcloth, and then I'll come right back to you. <laughs> I'll dry a little bit here. Make sure I don't have any more um, <laughs> remnants of the mask on me. So I've just washed it off, and I love this mask. This mask is awesome. It's really good. It's just on par um, with the Epicurean one that I love. So this is a great mask to have. Uh, the DIY detox mask and my skin definitely feels detoxed. So I've been trying all these new things now with my skin and I'm just back to paying more attention to it. By the way, she also sent me um, this thing called Kissable Lips Long Lasting Lip Balm, which is eucalyptus flavored. And I love this um, because it reminds me of when I used to get facials at Petite Spa at the very end of the treatment, they just put this, um, it seemed like a eucalyptus lip balm on, and it just feels like so nice, like such a spa treatment. So anyway, I loved it. The DIY Detox Mask from Honey Bell. I'll leave all of their info below. Thank you, Iris, for sending me your detox mask. And uh, if you try out this mask, let me know how you like it. Thank you so much for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur, and I'll see you soon. Bye.